hello my beauties thank you so much for watching my name is Peladi today's makeup tutorial is going to be a little different because not only will I be beating my face I will be showing you all the different brushes and tools that I use to apply my makeup and if you're curious this is my sorbet pore and poreless primer Right after applying my primer, I'm sure you beauties have seen me go in with my Yardley Loose Powder on this big powder brush. It's actually my Isoweva 101 brush, which I got from Quality Makeup Per Se. The reason I love this brush so much is because it's very soft and it's big, so it gets on most places while using minimal product. Also because it's just so soft. <laughs> So to blend out my concealer, I love using this fluffy concealer brush because it really buffs out most of the product and doesn't leave any harsh lines and it also absorbs it so that you don't be left with a lot of concealer that you really don't need on your eyelid. So yeah, that's things they don't mean. What I like to do next after applying that concealer is that I like to take this large shader brush which is actually not even for this part of my eye but I like to take it because it's nice and fluffy and I just dip it into my translucent powder. This is also a Sorbet product, it's their powder to you translucent using powder and it allows me to just tap on the product without removing or lifting or rubbing or you know blending I look I will be using my makeup revolution velvet rose palette and on this blending brush that I picked up from this cam at around 34 bucks I am going to pick up this burnt orange shade right here and begin to blend and pack it into my crease area After packing it in, I'm going to wipe the brush down and lightly go around the edges just to soften up that harshness. And to transition that burnt orange shade, I'm going to go into my signature Obsessions palette. And on this Zoeva 227 brush, I'm just going to grab this mustardy one right here. And the reason why I love using this Zoeva 227 brush to transition my shades is because it is a really thin and it really just gets the product where you want it to be and only there. To darken up my outer V area, I will take that large shade of brush that I used to set my brow bone area and I will go into the palette and take this brown here right on the tips of that large shade of brush because that is what's going to allow me to get the color just in the crease and around the outer edges without taking it all the way up so it's a really pointed brush which is beneficial for this step when it comes to your eyeshadow now to cut my crease i will be using this concealer brush which i got in a set also from quality makeup SA, which is very flat and if it isn't you can always just pinch the hairs together and it gives you a very sharp edge like that so that you can maneuver around your crease to cut a very sharp cut crease And now on that same concealer brush, I'm going to go back into my signature Obsessions palette and do a mini mix masala of these two shimmer shades and apply all over where I have that concealer. See, those shimmer shades are not giving me the oomph that I'm looking for. So I'm going to head on over to my signature exotic palette and I will apply Dreams and Goldie from the palette. For the outer part of the cut crease, I'm going to take that Essence Blending Brush and I will take a bit of that brown shade just to diffuse the harsh edges. Alrighty, so now heading over into face, I must admit, when I first started makeup, I wasn't using a beauty blender so vigorously like I am now. I only used to use this foundation brush, which I outgrew over the years of doing makeup. And now recently, I also started loving using this flat top kabuki brush, which is brilliant if you want that airbrushed look. So this is the brush that I'm going to use. And as a beginner, this is a very good brush to help out with the blending process because in the early stages of a applying makeup you really need tools like these to help your base look flawless and you want to pat not swipe 
when using this kabuki brush you want to like pat the product into place not nah. I would treat you right, treat you right. When it comes to makeup, blending is key. You want to blend your foundation so much so that it ends up looking like skin. So my beauties, when it comes to blending out concealer, you're going to need a fluffy concealer brush such as this one, just so that you can spread the product around. You are definitely going to need a beauty blender though for the harsh edges. And I've recently got myself this Real Technique setting brush, which works like magic underneath my eyes. So I would highly recommend this one and for underneath my liner i love to go in with this also by real techniques expert concealer brush it just helps me clean up and make that line a bit more sharper than it is and yeah i love how seamlessly it blended out this concealer so much so that i might not even need this beauty blender so when it comes to the under eye concealer i like to be a little more efficient there and go in with multiple tools because i really like that part of my eye to be really flawless so i start on the outskirts of that concealer and i almost like sweep it buffing in like sweeping motions like outward like that just to make sure that they aren't any harsh edges and if they are, which I do not see, I would usually go over with a beauty blender, but there is really nothing to blend right now. And then I take that Real Technique setting brush and I begin to pat from the outer part of where I have that concealer, also going outward until I finally reach the center of my eye, the center of my face rather. And now to snatch my nose and to contour the rest of my face, I like to use these two brushes to snatch my nose. Trace, and now well, I get some product with the brush. I tap off the excess. By the way, this is a brow pencil, but I use it to snatch my nose because I like the width of it. And yeah. Other girls who have no shame, no I die for you. They have been cruel to you. Saying things that a contour brush, a real contour brush, it looks like this one. It's got an, an angle just so that you can go like between your cheekbones and yeah, between that space right there on your face, which is why it comes in an angle. So baby, let me hold you, hold you. I wanna show you. And for blush today, I will be using this pink one, pinkish one that I got from Quality Makeup and Say on my Zoeva 101 brush. It says it's a highlight brush, but I absolutely love using it for blush as well. You want to tap it ever so lightly along the apples of your cheek and for the look you're going for you might want to even drag it higher if you want to have an elongated high cheekbone effect and for highlight today i will be going in with my maybelline face studio chrome highlighter on that very same zoeva 101 highlight you also just want to like tap into the pan like so also dust off the excess once because you really do want to build it up and not just have a whole whoosh straight line of highlight. You really want it to be around the areas of your face where the light hits. Like I know if I turn bam, the light is gonna hit there. If I turn, you know, the light hits along here. It doesn't hit along here and you know, noses. <laughs> that is why we apply highlight like here. It just gives an extra glow, like it's coming from within, even though our face is as matte as matte can be <laughs> and just like that we have made it to the end of today's makeup brush tools for beginners tutorial i hope you beauties learned a thing or two about how to use your makeup brushes and which makeup brushes and tools you need as a beginner but i would also advise that you go and check out quality makeup sc because she has the best prices for those brushes that are all in my makeup kit and yeah i'm sure you can also get makeup brushes like the real techniques ones i got them from take a lot and yeah there's a wide variety of makeup tools out there i I hope I really helped you in getting the right information on which brushes you need to do your full face meet, darling. And without any further ado, I will catch you guys again in my next one. But if you haven't already, my darling, please subscribe to my channel and show your girl summer love. I'll catch up again with you guys in my next one. Bye. 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 <laughs>